using this balanced equation for the a decomposition of sulfur trioxide into sulfur dioxide and oxygen. <clears throat> I'm going to calculate the mass of SO3 required to prepare 1.45 moles of oxygen. So we're going to see what steps we're going to need along this map here. And if we look at the stoichiometry map, we're given moles of A, so A would be oxygen. So we're going to start here and go straight to the balanced equation to calculate moles of SO3. Since the problem is asking for mass, which would be grams of SO3, we're going to have to also do step three. So if we start out here, we could rewrite the only two <coughs> parts of the balanced equation we need. That's not really necessary, but it does help us when we're at the balanced equation step. So this invisible one, and remember the balanced equation is always in moles. So if we take our given 1.45 moles of O2, and then we go straight to the balanced equation. So that's 1 to 2. So 1 mole of O2 for every 2 moles of SO3. And we can cancel our moles of oxygen. Read the problem. We're looking for the mass of SO3, so we still have to do one more step. So this is step 2, the balanced equation. And again, the balanced equation is always in moles. So the ratio is here, 2 to 1. Now we're going to have to do the molar mass step, and this is the molar mass of SO3. So this is always the big fat one. One mole of SO3 weighs so many grams of SO3. So we get out the periodic table. Sulfur weighs 32.07. So we're going to add that to three times what oxygen weighs. And when we do that, we'll see that that weighs 80.07. So the number that we get off the calculator always goes with the grams. And we can double check and make sure that those units cancel. So that number's already in the calculator. So that times 2 times 1.45. And if we do that, we get a big number, 232. We'll round that to three significant figures. So our final answer is going to be grams of SO3, which is what the question was asking us for. So again, we were given moles of oxygen. So we already had moles of A. So we went from moles of A to the balanced equation to convert to moles of B. Once we had moles of B, we did the molar mass to get to grams of B. So step two and step three only.